Hello, welcome to this demonstration for menu point templates. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you just how easy it is to modify a template and replace the existing photographs with your own photographs. And then uh, edit the text and then finally how to save the file as a JPEG so you can upload it to your own menu board. So let's get started. We're going to work on just this number one first. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this picture. So now we have an empty space here that we can add our own picture to. To do that, we go to Insert, select Pictures, and as you can see, I have some demonstration pictures here, and this was the one that we eliminated. And I can show you how to insert a new picture of your own. So here we have a photograph of a burger. As you can see, it's got a very white background, and this is good. When you take your pictures, try to make the background as contrasted as possible to the product. And the reason for this is because we're going to edit the background, we're going to remove the background. And in order to do this, we need to select the picture, and you'll see that the format menu comes up. Okay. Now, on the left-hand side, there's a selection to remove background. And as you can see, the computer has selected an area to remove. And we can change this a little bit. And then when we select Keep Changes, as you can see, it cleared out the background. Now we have a little bit left down here, but I'm going to go ahead and delete this picture and show you what happens when you have a messy background. Now here's a, a, another demonstration of a cheeseburger, and now we have a messier background to deal with. So let's go ahead and see what the computer selects to remove when we click remove background. Now it picked an area that it felt was the proper area and again it, it, it did not pick the proper area but it picked most of the right spots. So now you can see there's still a little bit of the plate left here and there's some of the bun left or that didn't show up. So what we're going to do is is we can modify this and we're going to click areas to keep and put the little pen down there right where the bun is and you can see that the bun begins to appear there. Now the, this area we want to remove. So we're going to click remove area and as you can see now it removed some of the plate and now this is now it removed all of the bun again so we can either delete that mark and it goes back to where it was and try another area and now if if you have these problems, now we can go back here and we have to just keep going back and forth until we get it right. Now the whole bun is showing and you, as you can see the whole plate and the messy background are gone. So I'm going to go ahead and keep changes. Okay, now we have our burger and I'm going to bring this back down to size so that it's an appropriate size. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is make it jump off the page. So we have a drop shadow here. And to do that, we want to go to picture effects and pick shadows. And I'm going to select this first one here in the upper left hand corner 
as it's similar to the other shadows we have here. Now you can see there's a very slight shadow under there and it's not quite enough. So we need to we need to go down to shadow options. And another menu will pull up here and you can see we can change the transparency of the shadow, the distance of the shadow. I'm going to go ahead and make that a bigger shadow like these other ones. And I'm going to blur it a little bit. And I'm going to bring down the transparency so it's a little bit darker just like the other ones. Okay, so now we have our drop shadow. Now, as you can see, this picture has a little bit cooler of a tint to it than these other photographs. We want to warm that up a little bit so it looks a little tastier. So let's go to color corrections. And as you can see, we can change the saturation of the color. And I'm going to click on a high, this is the one that it's at right now. I'm going to click on a higher level of saturation. As you can see now, it warmed it up. It looks uh, a, a lot uh, tastier than it did before. And we can also change the brightness and the contrast. I'm going to bring down the, bring up the contrast a little bit there. Okay, now I'm, I'm happy. It's jumping off the, the board a little bit here, and it has a warmer, tastier color to it. So let's go ahead and modify some text. Now, we can just change the price, and this is where it's very handy to use these templates because you can basically change prices once a day or once a week. And let's go ahead and change this to $9.00. And it's, uh, let's call this the double fees. Okay, now we've modified the name, we've modified the price. If we want, we can also do things like change the, the actual font. We can make it bold, we can change the, uh, the actual text font. Use a bolder font here just for a demonstration purpose. We can also change the color and these numbers up here are also editable. You can see the font here is named Porky's. If we wanted to change all these fonts for these numbers up here Let's go ahead and just change it to Playbill and bring that font size up a little bit here. Now to show you how easy it is to, to bring this font through the rest of the menu, I'm going to click the Format Painter And when I click on, on this next one here, you can see it changed to, to Playbill. So we can go ahead and do that to all the rest of these. Okay, so now we've, we've shown you how easy it is to change the font and change the numbers and change the pictures. We're going to just go ahead and change the combo meal picture as well. Delete that. I'm going to go ahead and insert a new combo meal picture. Perhaps this is... Uh, a picture that you took of your own product and we can just put that here and again we can go ahead and eliminate the background remove background and the computer almost picked everything proper straight away 
and let's just go ahead and keep those changes. Okay, so now we have basically have changed everything on here. Again, you can use the format um, painter to bring those same drop shadows that we have over here over to this picture here. So now we've got our, our menu changed and what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this today as a JPEG image. So what we do is we go up here to file and we go to export and we change the file type to a JPEG format. And here we can save this as our menu board number one. Okay. And then it's going to ask if I if you want to change all slides. We want to do just this one. Perhaps you may have had other slides over here that you were working on. So we just want to save this one. And this is exported now. These templates are formatted so that the, the picture is um, in a high def format ready for your menu board. Thank you for watching this demonstration and please enjoy our website to see all of the other solutions that we have. Thank you. Have a nice day.